Hey guys, Maximillionaire One here. If you're watching this not on my channel, please hop over to Maximillionaire One and hit the subscribe button. This is Corporal Del Fuente, a supervising officer, and Officer Gutierrez. They are from the Trinidad Police Department in Trinidad, Colorado. And this video is from First Amendment Strike Team. And this is via Good Citizen of the North because the video from First Amendment Strike Team has already been taken down from YouTube, by YouTube, for violation of their harassment and bullying policy. Now, I, I would have to agree with them. The actions you're about to see here are definitely harassment and bullying. But if they're gonna pull down every single one of our videos because cops harass and bully people, we're gonna lose over 80% of our videos. So uh, maybe they shouldn't be so tough on these cops and their actions. We know it's wrong. We know it's harassment and bullying, but please don't take down our videos because of the cops actions. What you're about to watch is these Trinidad Police Department officers going onto private property to receive a citizen's complaint. After the corporal on the right notices that the citizen is recording her, she asks him to stop, that she doesn't like it. Once she gets told that no, he's not gonna stop, that it's his right, then she immediately goes to take your hands out of your pockets, to which he replied no. He was not going to take his hands out of his pocket. He was on his property, damn it. He called you there. He was filing a complaint. He was not under detention. He was not uh, being detained by you for any suspicion of any crime whatsoever. There was no reason for you to have any reasonable, articulable fear that he was going to harm you in any way, shape, or form. Just because a person's hands are in their pockets doesn't mean that alone is a threat, especially when the person is calm and collected and you have absolutely no reason to suspect that they might want to harm you. It's another thing to note that First Amendment Strike Team orders these officers off of his property. Now, you're allowed to do that as a homeowner. You can order somebody off of your property that has no lawful right to be there. And since they were there at his behest of him making a citizen's complaint, they had no official duty to remain on that property and in fact should have left immediately and are in fact a violation of Colorado's trespassing law. They were notified that they were to leave the property and they refused. That under Colorado law is illegal. So, who here is doing the bullying? Who here is doing the harassing? And who here is breaking Colorado law, trespassing? You decide, take a look. Let me know what you think. Be quiet. So I had this uh, Los Angeles County uh, Sheriff's Officer uh -huh. or employee, employee almost run me over in the uh, Safeway parking lot here. Okay. Coming out the door, she's doing a little East 30. She came in from uh, Main Street, took a half hand turn across the front store, almost ran me over. <clears throat> I had to slam her brakes on and she still would have slid past me if I didn't stop. Um, and then uh, I also had a, uh, or she almost also hit three other people in the crosswalk that's right there in front of the apartment. Okay. Um, I can show you the video. Okay. Of her plate and stuff. Get all this from Let's see. You mind if I take your phone? No, you're good. Because of the way she's driving. This isn't a video of her almost running me over. This is just a video of her and her vehicle. Okay. Um, and how she also says she didn't work for the government, even though she's got a Los Angeles County Sheriff's uh, jacket on. Los Angeles Sheriff's Office, so you don't work for the government then, huh? You know you were just speeding through this parking lot? If you had to estimate her speed, what would you estimate it at? Can at you least, please not point that camera at my face. 
uh, Thank you. down we're on private property. If we're on public property, I can still point it at you. It's just a courtesy that I'm asking you. That's all. Do you uh, remember that you're out of your pocket? Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm the one okay. making the complaint. No, that's you fine. Know. But for officer safety, I'm going to ask you to keep your hands you, out of your pocket. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So you can either take my complaint with my hand in my pocket or not take okay, it. Okay, then I'm not taking it. Thank okay. You, sir. Hey, what are your names? <laughs> What's your name? It's, it's Della Fuente. Keep your hands out of your pocket. No, take your hands off me. What's in there. Take your hands off me right now. Okay. Take I your hands off. No, no. What? get the fuck I off me. Know what's in there. Get off me. You, you better take the fuck off. Okay. Get the fuck off. Call the police now. I just want to know Call what's in Call the police. Get the fuck off me. All I need to do is no. get the fuck off me. No, get back the fuck off me. No, no. you're not going to pass it. You don't have my fucking permission, bitch. Back the fuck up. Get the fuck off me! Okay, I don't know if you don't get the to fuck! I don't give a fuck where my property. Both you get the fuck off me now. That's fine now. Just hold on a second now. Okay, there's you're gonna get a fucking lawsuit. Just relax now. Just get on my property now, you bitch. Get the fuck off me. Is that all there is? Is a tail slip? I'm not gonna answer any of your fucking questions. What's your name? Gutierrez. You're both gonna lose your fucking jobs. Oh my god. Do you have any more weapons you have this? No permission to speak to me. You have no consent at all. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this until no. we leave, okay? No. You're you're leaving now. Okay. Get the fuck off my property. Drop my knife. Okay. Drop my property. Can you step back so I can No I'm not. It's my property. Okay. I asked you. Get my knife and get the fuck out of here. That's now. Fine. No, you didn't ask me shit. Get the fuck out of here. I actually keep your hands out of your pocket. Give my knife. I'm on my property. It down? doesn't matter. I'm not being detained. I don't have to listen to you. Give okay. my knife and get the safety. fuck off. No. That's why I asked you. No, you're both getting sued. Get the fuck okay. off my property. Now. That's perfectly fine. Now. That is Go. fine. Go. Unless you just both want to be tra trespassed. Get the fuck off my property. Okay. That is fine. I'm, I'm just going to be No, I don't know. Don't explain shit so to me. So that you understand. Don't explain shit to me. I don't need to Keep my knife. Ma'am? Ma'am, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give me my property. All this is, so you took my property. And then just step away. That's all. Thank, Thank you. you. We have uh, Del Puente and Gutierrez. You're a corporal? You should not be in charge of anybody at all. You need to be fired and lose your job. Have a good day. Car 4179. Uh, you guys are both going to lose your jobs and be sued out of fucking hell. Fuck out of here. Fucking douchebags. 981 Washington, Ida Adam. So, now that you've seen the video, this is what First Amendment Strike Team's video looks like if you try to get there through the link. This video has been removed for violating YouTube's policy on harassment and bullying. So, Hopefully everybody's mirroring this so that they cannot take down all of them. But one final piece of warning, please, please, whatever you do, do not call 719-846-4441 and absolutely do not call the administration office at 719-846-2993. Once again, that is, do not call the administration office at 719-846-2993. Listen, I've heard that you guys have been practicing your First Amendment rights far too much and that it needs to stop now. I mean, how far are you guys going to go? I mean, you've gotten Mexican Padilla arrested and now, now you got Clash with Bow arrested. If you guys keep calling these numbers that I'm telling you not to call, do not call 719-846-2993. If you guys keep calling, next you're going to get me arrested. So please, for the love of God, do not redress your government for grievances. Thank you.